bolos. What's a bread and butter bolo? Well, that's different for everyone. I consider my bread and butter bolos. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. We are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos. What's a bread and butter bolo? Well, that's different for everyone. I consider my bread and butter bolos items to be on the lookout for that I sourced cheap and I sold on eBay for $35 or less. So I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And I think one thing that you will notice from my channel is some of the things I sell, you probably would walk past. So let's get started. The first item here is this little vintage Dankin hamster, and it has shredded clippings. And how do I know that? I know that because it says it right here on the tag. And this little guy is old and most of you probably wouldn't have looked twice at it. I mean, he's in pretty rough shape. And you want to know something? It sold pretty quick. I was pretty surprised. I got this at the Goodwill Benz. I ended up taking a best offer of $8.35. The buyer was all in for $14. The next item took a really long time to sell. Uh, these Victoria's Secret plush dogs, some of them um, sell quickly. Most of them are very long tail. Do I recommend picking them up? Probably not. Um, not one of my best buys ever. But some of them are collectible and harder to find. So maybe do your research. This one right here, I believe I got at a garage sale in bulk. So I didn't pay much for it. Probably a dollar or less. I ended up taking a best offer of $8 plus shipping. And I was happy to see it go. The next item is this vintage Snuggle Bear Lever Brothers plush stuffed animal toy by Russ Berry from 1985. And you may have seen this in another one of my videos. I found one of these that was new with tags. The one that was new with tags sold really quickly. And I want to say it was in the $30 to $40 range. I can't remember exactly, but it was definitely a bolo. This guy sat a little longer and... I didn't sell them for as much. I ended up taking a best offer of, well, it says $10. That's odd. $10 plus shipping. I don't know why there's a contradiction there. So, because this says $9.30. Huh. That is odd. So maybe I just wrote it down wrong. So we'll say it sold for $9.30 plus shipping because I'm not sure why I wrote 10 I may have been looking at something else. All right, so we have this airplane. I picked this up at the Goodwill bins also, and I really didn't know too much about it. It felt, it's metal, it felt heavy, it looked decent. It is a vintage ERTL, I think it's pronounced Ertl, US Air Force military fighter jet. And I just wrote the information from the jet on to my title and it sold quickly. It sold it for $20 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. I do put best offer on all of my items and most of my items sell with best offer measurements. This is what I do. Uh, I just take a tape measure and do that so that the buyer knows exactly what they're getting. This little raspberry purple lamb. I got this also at the Goodwill bin, sold it for $15 and 50 cents plus shipping. And here is your tag. It is an, I think this was, I don't know if it's vintage or if it's just older because um, there's no date on it. So I didn't put vintage in the title, but it could be an older retired, definitely retired stuffed animal. Always, always, always pick up these scrapbook. Um, Creative Memories does great. This is from 2000. It is retired, discontinued. People look for these. They generally sell quickly for me. I picked this up at a thrift store for $1.25 and I sold it for $24.80 plus shipping. Let me see here. I listed this. Oh my goodness. Why do I have to go up so far? Uh, in March, in March, I listed this in March and it sold. So it sold pretty quick. That's a quick sale for me. A couple months. I'm good with that. 
The next item are these Handy Manny toolbox replacement tools. If you guys don't know about Handy Manny, it is definitely a bolo item. Not in a sense that it always sells for big money, but it usually sells quickly. These are replacement toys that always get lost and people are looking for them. Um, a viewer actually saw this in my Goodwill Bins video and they came in and purchased this from me. I took a best offer of $19 plus shipping and this was purchased from Mike Jamie one and this is their eBay store. So go show them some love with a follow and they've got all kinds of great items. Look at this dog. It's a hot dog. It's a hot dog. Oh my goodness. That's so funny. So check them out and thank you so much for your purchase. I really appreciate it. Uh, the DMC embroidery, I have listed a ton of this and it is selling pretty well. I've got about 12 in each lot. There is a little bit of variation depending on the color that I have and how many that I had. Like I, I think I had a lot of nine and a lot of 10 in certain colors, but this was a lot of 12. I've sold two and I have two available. I sold one lot of 12 for $10 plus shipping. The next item, honestly, I picked this up at the Goodwill bins and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell this, but I know these big eyed dolls, these Bradley dolls can do really, really well, but she was a hot mess. And when I tell you a hot mess, oh my goodness, uh, look at this, just broken and tattered. And I just figured maybe somebody could use the stand or part her out. Look at her dress, water damage just a mess. So I just included photos and a very clear description and I sold it. I can't believe I sold it, but I sold it. I got it at the bin. So it was probably about $2, maybe $2 and 50 cents. And I sold it for a best offer of 10 plus shipping. This is kind of one of those items where I'm like, can I do it? Can I sell it? And I amaze myself and I sell it. So just because things are damaged doesn't mean necessarily that they will not sell. She's missing part of her earring. I mean, just mess, mess, mess. So I don't know what the person that bought this is going to do with it, but I'm guessing they're going to use it for parts or restore it. The next item also sold to a viewer. These are Disney minifigures. It's a mixed lot of 19 vintage to now. So I just kind of put a hodgepodge of items together Instead of parting it out, I sold these for $18.59 plus shipping. And these sold to Pinky's Secondhand Store. Definitely go and give her a follow. She has an amazing store as well. Um, I love these bamboo vintage handmade soldiers. Just really cool um, vintage items. She also has um, jewelry lots. So if you guys are looking for jewelry lots and stuff like that, she has a great store. So check her out. This is a Bandai Ben 10 Alien Ultimate Terraspin Figure Cartoon Network toy. And I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. Now, Ben 10, I have mixed feelings on Ben 10. Some of them go quickly and some of them sit a very long time. So definitely do your research. I'm not a big sell-through rate person. If it's small and easy to ship, I will just list it and forget it. And I'm good with that. But if you are someone that has limited space, you're going to want to look at sell through rate and see, is the item selling fast? How many items are currently listed? How many items have sold? So, and you look at the difference and you're like, okay, if there's a hundred listed and only 10 have sold, your item's probably going to be sitting for a long time. Maybe this is something you should not pick up if you're trying to move your items quickly. Or you're going to have to be very competitive in your pricing, which can also hurt eBay as a whole, in my opinion. Um, I feel like a lot of times resellers will look at the lowest price and then price lower. And then that just decreases the value of the items over time. So uh, things that used to be a bolo, because people are underpricing them to get the quick sale, it decreases the value of the item, if that makes sense. The next item here is this Shopkins Cupcake Queen Classics Child Costume Size Medium. And I got this at a garage sale for $1, sold it for $12.50 plus shipping. This is a Transformers The Last Night Slug Dinobot figure. And I got this at a garage sale for $1. 
And I sold it for a best offer of $12.50 plus shipping. And I hate these things. I absolutely hate transformers. I don't know why I pick them up because they take me like 15 minutes to figure out how to get it from one thing to the other. I think this is a dino bot. So it's like a dinosaur and a person. And I still don't even know if I have it together right, but they drive me nuts. I'm so bad at transforming them. Let me know in the comments. Are you guys good at transforming transformers? This is another one you might walk past. Um, I always pick up these replacement bottles. Why? Because they sell. I've never even heard of this brand. It's Zaph, Z-A-P-H, Creation Baby Bottle Replacement with a removable lid. And I just showed that you can take the lid off. And I got this at the Goodwill bin, so it probably cost me like 10, 15 cents. I sold it for $9.30 plus shipping. The next item are these Smurfs minifigures. They are by Payo. I think I'm saying that right. I got these, I believe, at a garage sale, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't have information on those. For some reason, I did not write it down, but I sold these for $16.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Wendell August Outlet Cover Plate Dogwood Flower Handmade Solid Bronze. You guys have seen these in my videos over and over and over again. These have been a home run. Picked them up at a garage sale. I picked up a bag of bronze and a bag of pewter. Uh, the pewter have done better than the bronze. I have outlet covers. I also have light switch covers. And this was a great buy. By the time I divided out um, the items by my cost of goods for the total, it ended up being about a dollar a piece because I did part out the set and I just keep selling them over and over and over again. This one actually sold for $32.50 and the buyer paid shipping. This is Cat's Meow Village. I have so many Cat's Meow I need to list. Uh, I don't like listing Cat's Meow. I have learned that about myself. I picked up a huge lot at a garage sale uh, many years ago, and this is a part of that lot. Some of them sold very, very quickly, and a lot of them are just wait for the right buyer. List it and forget it. And this is a list it and forget it. But my margins on this are fantastic. I mean, I probably had a dollar or less in all of these and I sold it for $22.75 plus shipping. So to me, that's worth the wait. It's sitting in a tote, just waiting on the wait, right buyer. I have a whole tote in my money pile that I need to list. If you can find the Halloween series, those do really well. At least they did back when I was comping out um, solds back when I listed these. Zuru Six Surprise Mini Brands Marvel Mini Toys. A lot of six. I sold these for $22.75. Oh, is that the right one? Yeah, $22.75 plus shipping. And I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents. So these are those mini brands toys. I decided to lot these up. You absolutely can sell these individually. People do it all the time. Um, I just was looking for the quick list. This is a Play School Heroes Transformers Rescue Bot Bumblebee. And this one sold for $9.75 plus shipping. And the buyer was actually all in on this for $16.46. So when I say all in, that is the sold price plus shipping plus tax. Okay, how many of you walk past these Duplo Legos? These are the ones that are a little bit bigger. They're not the jumbo size. So you've got the small normal Legos, the Duplos, which are a size up, and then you've got the really big ones. These are the middle ones. And this is just the barn fence, the stable fence, whatever you want to call it. It's a replacement part. I always put replacement in the title. These are from 2011. I sold these for $9.75 and the buyer paid shipping. And those also came from the Goodwill bins. This is a Build-A-Bear workshop clothing, Kiss Me Frog tank top and shirts and jean shorts. And I'm pretty sure this little frog does pretty well the Build-A-Bear, the actual frog Build-A-Bear. So I'm not 100%, but for some reason that's ringing in my head um, as something to look for. Do check out my Build-A-Bear Bolo video. I talk about the top selling Build-A-Bear, the ones that you really want to be on the lookout for. And I also talk about how they do better on Mercari in a lot of cases. Not all, 
but a lot. Um, sometimes, you know, different platforms, things sell better. And Build-A-Bear does really well on Mercari. So if you have Build-A-Bear and you're not selling on Mercari, definitely think about that. I do have a uh, referral link down below for Mercari. If you use that to join, you're going to get $10 to shop. And once you sell $100, you're going to get another $20 to shop. And what do I say? Take that $30 and buy something to resell. So then you make even more money. I'm always thinking. I'm always thinking about ways to make more money, right? Like use your money wisely. Invest, invest in your business. Okay, so this one sold for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. And I sold this to MacPack Join the Pack. And this is her eBay store. And she is also over on um, YouTube now and coming soon to whatnot. So definitely uh, give her a follow in all three places. I am also selling on whatnot. If you did not know, I'm sure you know if you've been watching me. I do have a link down below. If you use that link to follow me on whatnot, you will get $15 to shop. I have been selling a lot of jewelry. I have a toy show coming up. So hope to see you guys in the future at one of my shows. Build a bear. Uh, we did that one. Okay. These stairs. This is from the play school, Victorian dollhouse. I have broken down and parted out this dollhouse twice, at least twice, maybe more. When I see it, I am always very happy. Now, does it take a lot of time to part it out? Yes, yes, it does. But typically when you get them, there's a lot of fading. There's a lot of issues and they're incomplete. There's just lots of issues usually because they're old. People keep them outside. The sun hits them and they just look bad. But some of the things still look really good like this, the steps, they still look good. So I part it out. I sold the stairs for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, if you get the house and it is complete and looks good, keep it complete because it is a bolo, especially if you have the figures. This one sold really fast. And you guys, when I tell you this little guy is teeny tiny, look, look at it. It's just a little teeny tiny figure. This is by Spin Master and it is from Paw Patrol. It is Chicoletta. It's a replacement figure. And this little guy sold fast for $7.44 plus shipping. I dug it out of the Goodwill bin. So I've got about 10 cents in it. And it was a quick sale. This Polyfect Toy House, Easy Carry Dollhouse, miniature with furniture. I got this at a garage sale for $1, sold it for $15.50 plus shipping. The next item is a tie, or what I like to say, T-Y, which I know is wrong, but I do it all the time. What I have learned is the Beanie Babies, I don't really pick those up, but I will pick up the ones that are cartoons and different things that people may want just because it's a cartoon. So this little guy is Boots the Monkey from Dora the Explorer. I just sold SpongeBob the other day. Um, so. My suggestion to you is if you see these and they are a cartoon, I would pick them up because they're a nice bread and butter. This sold pretty quickly. I got it at the bin. So my cost of goods was probably less than a dollar. I sold it for $9 and 30 cents and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, I hope there were some helpful tips in there. Those are my what solds. Let me know in the comments, which one maybe you didn't know about, which one you might pick up now that you've seen this video that you wouldn't have picked up before. And there's going to be some videos popping up here and here, one down below, a subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you at the next one. And thanks for watching.